So first of all, let's look at frames under image to video with Clean AI. Here's how to do it. So I'm going to add the first image right here. And in this instance, we have our start image, as you can see. And then I'm going to add the end image right here, as you can see. We'll drag in the other image here. So we have the beginning shot and the after shot. And in this instance, this is the same character in a casual mode. And then all of a sudden in a professional mode right before and after transitions could be for personal branding could be for hey i'm going for the casual look to the professional look it could actually be also for products when you think about it like this is the casual outfit right here and this is the professional outfit so it gives you an idea on how you could start to think about how to use two images for transitions here all right so we're going to scroll to the bottom here where it says please describe your creative ideas for the video or view help center for a quick start this is where we're going to put our prompt now you have the option as you can see here to use deep seek r1 so it gives you opportunities to have a head start on prompts as you can see it says here the person runs the camera follows a man flying through the air on a wind fire wheels soaring past skyscraper so if you need help you can use these tools too also the inspiration presets which gives you the chance to pick like your lens your shot type light and shadow effect frame all that stuff atmosphere you know so these are other prompts embedded in here to help you out which is so phenomenal but in this instance i have the prompt already because i render this i'm just showing you how i did it so i'm going to close this out and so here's the prompt and here it is here. So it says the video begins with the first image of the woman sitting casually on the sofa. She then smoothly transitions into motion, standing up from the sofa and walking out of the frame to the right. The camera follows her movement, creating a sense of continuity and flow as she exits the scene. The focus shifts to the right corner where she reappears in the second image. Now dressed in her official attire, she confidently walks into the frame from the right striking a professional pose that mirrors the final picture the transition highlights her transformation from casual to professional emphasizing versatility and adaptability now i read this whole prompt because this video actually turned out not as cool as i wanted it to be and i'm going to show you the difference between the one that actually came out better than this one after i refined the prompt so here after that you go to the bottom here and go to negative prompt which is very important i always use the negative prompt and these are the negative prompts distortion blurry morph ingraining all that stuff all in there that you just don't want now going down to the bottom you get to pick the model that you want to use so as you can see here cling 1.6 model with end frame only supports professional mode so in this instance i can only use professional mode can't use standard mode. I could render it for five seconds. I could do more than one output. I could do two outputs, three outputs, four outputs. That's with VIP. And then the creativity relevance is very important. I always move this to sort of like 0.8 so that it sticks as much as possible to the image and to the prompt. So as you can see here, it says creativity and relevance. I want it to be more relevant because I'm doing it for a purpose. So that's something to take note of. And then here are the credits that I'm going to use when I generate it. So for professional, it's going to be 35. So then we go to the bottom here. And as you can see, we could generate it. And being professional, it's going to use 35 credits when I generate it. And after that, you generate. Now, here is the outcome of what we got from this prompt. So I'm going to play it here. And as you can see, she gets up. She's walking away, but then she transitions into the shot by not turning around, by not coming out of the right as I instructed it to do. So as you can see, that's a little awkward, right? You can't really post that because it's like, hey, I'm walking and then I turn magically and stuff. Now, this is the issue with prompting. And as you can see, I just burned 35 credits on something I might not be able to use. but this comes with the territory at times you have to burn credits to refine your prompts to get them exactly where you want them to be now i'm going to show you the second one and how we refined that prompt and here's the second one over here now i'm going to play it and you'll see so she's walking away and then turns around so you see that's much better when she walks and then just turns as opposed to her walking this way and then just flipping around from her backside to the front just automatically just a little awkward you know but here at least it makes sense you know got up and then i backed up and then boom 
just like that, I'm right there. And as you can see, I had to change the prompt because now I said standing up from the sofa and walking out of the frame to the left. If you go down here, you see it says out of the frame to the right. So I figured if I made that change, it would adjust it to be a little bit more realistic. And that could have been where the confusion was. Now, as you can see, it didn't really stick to the prompt because the whole idea was that she would get up, go this way and then come out back. But at least this is better. And then I also took off. She confidently walks into the frame from the right. As you can see here, I'm going to scroll up. As you can see, it says she confidently walks into the frame, striking a professional pose. So these little tweaks, these little few words make a big, big difference when it comes to prompting and what your output looks like. So that's how you can use image to video AI generation in Kling AI using frames.